Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here and today I'm taking a look at iTunes 12 which is the newest version of Apple's music streaming service. So as you can see, iTunes 12 has gotten a bit of a design revamp and it's also focused on a couple new things so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, the first thing that's been changed is the actual iTunes icon. Now it actually looks red and white as opposed to the blue and black version that we had before. It's not too big a difference, but it's just a sign that Apple has been trying to change the design of iTunes 12, and they're wanting it to be that much more noticeable. Now the music page of iTunes 12 isn't that different, although there are a couple small changes that you should know about. First, up here in the top left are some icons that are replacing the drop down menu in iTunes 11. You've got your different media, music, movies, TV shows, and you've also got a drop down list of more things that might be relevant to you. You can edit this list and add whatever you think might be helpful, so if you're interested in apps, you can add an icon for that, or if you're interested in iTunes U, you can do that too. Anything that you think will be relevant to your daily life. Now as you can see, this is actually all grouped under a My Music page. Apple's allowing you to still sort by different things like albums, songs, artists, or composers, but you do that now on the right side, which is another small change that you should know about. And then also, you've got the ability to view radio and the iTunes store just by clicking the options in the front center. It's a really easy way to get around, but you just need to learn how to use it. Coming into the iTunes store, almost nothing has changed. The only thing that's different is the fact that this carousel of you know new and relevant media is now flattened. It's no longer got that 3D flipping animation that was in iTunes 11. And this is just another sign that Apple's trying to go with more the flat route that they went with with iOS 7, iOS 8, and OS 10 Yosemite. It's you know got Johnny I's fingerprint on it for sure, and I actually think it looks slightly nicer. Now the movies page of iTunes 12 is also more streamlined. You've got the ability to view unwatched videos, home videos, and my movies all on the same page. It's also a lot easier to access the iTunes store and as you can see I don't have any videos in here right now but you can actually easily toggle between them and clicking on the iTunes store will take you directly to the iTunes store for video. Taking a look at TV shows, it's basically the same story. The only thing that's changed is it's also easier to access the iTunes store just by clicking on this option at the top and it's also got a little bit more streamlined with the ability to view my TV shows, unwatched, and playlists all in the same place. Now the apps page is broken up into the different apps you have based on your iTunes iPhone apps and your iPad apps, you can do both of them at the same time. Also you can see all the updates you still need to do and as you can see right now, I've got no apps that need updating. The App Store page is also broken up into different sections and as soon as it's done loading here, you'll see that it's broken up into a section with for best new apps, best new games, but also it's based on iPhone and iPad so it'll show all the iPhone apps in one section and all the iPad apps in another. It's just another sort of a way that Apple's trying to separate the iPhone and iPad to make it easier for you to know exactly which apps are for what. Now one last thing, if you do use iTunes a lot on your computer, you'll know that the mini player is a big part of the experience, and to actually get to the mini player in iTunes 12, it's just a little bit different. Now you click on this little button in the top left hand corner, the very top left, and you just click on shift to mini player. Then it's going to bring out this little window in the top left to where you can actually have your iTunes player running, but it's just not full screen, so it's easier to work on something else at the same time. It's a nice touch, and I mean, it's not very different than the way you get to it in iTunes 11 and it functionally it's exactly the same but it's just a slightly new experience and so it's kind of interesting. So anyways, as you can see, there's not that much functionally new in iTunes 12. Apple's just, you know, basically throwing on a new look onto their classic st streaming player. And, you know, it's, I think it actually looks nicer than before with the flattened look that sort of matches up more with iOS 8 and OS 10 Yosemite. I'm actually running this on a Windows 8.1 PC, so it looks just a little bit out of place. But if you are running this on a Mac or something, it's going to look really, really nice. And I think that Apple's done a great job with their newest version of iTunes. But anyways, give me your feedback on iTunes 12 in the comments below. I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys think, and basically that wraps it up for this video, so I will see you next time.